Hi, welcome back. Now that I've discussed some basic flight maneuvers, takeoffs and landings, airport patterns, I'll discuss some basic airport entry procedures. Before going to an airport, you should already be familiar with the airport essentials like the runway length, traffic pattern, traffic pattern altitude, frequencies, etc. Usually tower controlled airports will accommodate traffic pattern entries, however, what do you do at an uncontrolled airport? So for today, I've chosen an uncontrolled airport. It is Corona Airport in California, also known as Alpha Juliet October. The first thing to do is look at the airport facility directory to find out some basic airport information. You can go to skyvector.com and get this information for all US airports. So I will pick Corona. First thing you look at is the runway length. It is 3200 feet long. Is this long enough for a Cessna 172? Yes, it is. Then look at the airport elevation, 533 feet pretty close to sea level so we're good. Next look at the traffic pattern altitude it is 1533 feet MSL or 1000 feet above ground level so it's a standard 1000 foot pattern. Next we'll look at the runway remarks. Runway 25 is a basic left traffic pattern. Remember unless otherwise specified every pattern is a left handed pattern. Next we're going to take a look at the runway 7 and you can immediately see that runway 7 has a right handed traffic pattern. So both of these traffic patterns on this airport are south of the runway. You never want to do a straight in approach in an uncontrolled airport. If there's other planes in the traffic pattern you have to adjust to them. They shouldn't adjust to you. What's even worse is that you can cause an accident. If you're approaching Corona from the south side of the airport you will enter either pattern on a 45 degree downwind. If you're coming from the north to Corona, what you have to do is fly perpendicular to the runway right above the midfield at 500 feet above the traffic pattern altitude. In this case, that's 2,033 feet. And you will enter a downwind on a 45 degree angle after a quarter turn, about 30 seconds after overflying the midfield. As you see, we have the Corona airport in front of us. We will descend to 2,033 feet. We'll give CTAF or Unicom a call. Corona traffic, Cessna so-and-so is two miles north of Corona. Inbound for landing, runway 25. We'll enter downwind on a 45 degree after overflying midfield, Corona. You always have to end a CTAF or Unicom call with the name of the airport. Just before midfield, we'll slow down to around 90 knots for the traffic pattern speed. Over the midfield, we'll give a call to CTAF again. Corona traffic, Cessna so-and-so is above midfield at 2000 for a left downwind runway 25, 45 degree entry, Corona. About 30 seconds after overflying the midfield, we'll do a nice easy turn to the right, reducing the RPM and descending down to the traffic pattern altitude.
45 degree entry will give a call to the CTAP and the comm again. Corona traffic, Cessna so and so is entering left downwind for runway 25, Corona. Once in downwind, you should know what to do. At the threshold, reduce the power, add first notch of flaps, and pitch for 85 knots. At 45 degrees to runway, add the second notch of flaps, pitch for 75, adjust the power as needed, and give a call to CTAF Unicom again. Corona traffic, Cessna so and so is entering left base from runway 25, Corona. As we turn final, we add full flaps, pitch for 65, adjust the power as needed, and make a call. Corona traffic, Cessna so and so is on final for runway 25, Corona. Reduce all power once you can make the runway. The flare. After touchdown, keep that nose wheel off the ground as long as possible. and get off the runway as quickly and safely as you can. Once clear of the runway, you give one less call to CTAF and Unicom. Corona traffic, Cessna so and so is clear of the runway 25, Corona. And that is the basic non controlled airport traffic pattern entry. As any good Microsoft Flight Simulator aficionado would do, you'll put the replay on and watch your perfect landing. Anyway guys, have fun, practice, and most of all enjoy.